problems are getting a little bit larger. Um, I have three terms on each side of the equal sign in this particular problem. Please pause when that's the case. If there are more than two terms on one side of the equal sign and we're solving what's called basic linear equations, then there are like terms to be combined. So please do that first. So this 5y and this 1y are like terms and they must be combined before I go any further. So the 5y and the 1y on this left hand side are equal to a total of 6y and then I had that minus 7. Over here I have a 7y and a minus 5y that are like terms. They must be combined. 7 minus 5 is 2 of those y's. So I have 2y plus the 21. Now I'm ready to go ahead and use the addition principle and focus on the variable terms. This one has the smaller coefficient over that one, so Pat's going to choose to subtract 2y from both sides. And so here I'll have 4y minus 7 equals 21, because those added to be 0. I want to get the y term alone, so I'm going to add 7 to both sides of the equation. So I have 4y equals 28. And not until I'm down to this very last step do I think about dividing both sides by, in this case, 4, because that's the coefficient of the y term. And I find out that y is equal to 7. I'm going to jot that down over here. y is equal to 7. Again, maybe one check during this course, the sequence of about um, three problems. I'm going to go ahead and erase this, since it's such a large problem. And I'm going to plug in a value of 7 everywhere I see y. So I have here 5 times 7, which will be 35. Then I'll subtract 7, plus 1 times 7. On the right-hand side, I have 7 times y, which is 7, plus a 21 minus 5 times y, which is 7. In order of operations says I should multiply before I add and subtract. So I'm going to find this to be a 35 and this to be a 7. This is a 49 and this is a 35. And now I'm going to add and subtract working from left to right. So 35 minus 7 is um, 28. And then when I add 7 to that, I get uh, 35. On the right-hand side, 49 plus 21 is uh, 70. And so this 70 minus 35 is indeed also 35. And I can say I know my solution of y equals 7 is correct because when I substituted into the original equation, it gave me a statement that was true. That's why that answer is correct. Let's look at another problem. This one involves parentheses. So let's see. If I have 8 times 3x plus 2, and I want to solve this equation, my best bet is to distribute the parentheses, and I'm probably going to suggest that all the time. So the distributive property says 8 times 3x is 24x. And 8 times a positive 2 is a positive 16. And then the 30 on the right-hand side. I'm trying to isolate the variable x, so I'll subtract 16 from both sides. And then finally turn to the uh, multiplication principle, which is to divide both sides by 24. And please, would you always reduce if you can? And so I believe 2 will go into each of those. It goes into here 7 times and into here 12 times. And my answer for this problem is 7 over 12. Not going to take the time on this one to check it. Um, just like some of the others that we've done with fractions, don't be concerned when you get answers that aren't whole numbers. It is kind of a common desire to get integers as solutions. Let's do one that has um, a negative sign in the binomial and a minus sign out in front. This is the one that causes the most trouble. Please, please look at this problem. Pause. Look at this problem for a minute. Many people up front see this 10 minus 3 and they want to call that a 7. 
Order of operations never said that you should subtract first. Order of operations says that you should multiply before you add and subtract. And this is, you are being asked to distribute the 3 or to multiply the 3 times the 2x minus 1. Not only that, that 3 is a negative 3 because it's got a subtraction sign in front of it. So these two terms have to have their signs changed because a negative 3 times a positive 2 is a negative 6x. And a negative 3 times, essentially, it's a negative 1. Look at that right there. It was a minus 1. A negative 3 times a negative 1 is a positive 3. So that sign is very, very important. Bring that 10 down now. You didn't do anything with it. Let's bring the 1 down. We got rid of the parentheses. Very, very important to watch that negative sign. On the left-hand hand side, there are three terms. That means two of them must be like terms. terms. 10 and 3 add to be 13. So you have a negative 6x plus that 13 is equal to 1. Now would you go ahead and subtract 13 from both sides? And 1 and a negative 13 add to be a negative 12. And we'll divide both sides by a negative 6, both sides by a negative 6. And x will be equal to a negative divided by a negative is a positive 2. I'm going to pause again. There, there's three problems fairly involved. Parentheses are of, of great importance here. You've got to be sure to distribute. You'll never do that subtraction first. So, so watch this one. Watch that particular problem a few times if you need to, if you're, if you're struggling.